Alright guys. It is Friday, August 11th, 2023 at 11.12pm. Alright, so somebody had commented that they hadn't seen a video of mine in a while. I've been busy guys. You know, I've been busy doing stuff. Always covering the news though on the community tab on YouTube. I share so much news it drives me crazy sometimes. But uh, let's cover some of the verses uh, verse of the day, dailyverses.net. It says, For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. Matthew 6, 14. Alright guys, so my channel is basically pointing you to Jesus Christ, follow Jesus, love Jesus, love God, you know, um, read Bible verses every day, you know, get into the Bible, get connected with God, have that soul connection, that that community connection with Jesus where you talk with him in your mind and you have conversations you know have that connection with Jesus and I also share the news so let's get into um, some satellite news here we have Hurricane Dora on the left uh, in the Atlantic Typhoon Lan and Invest 98.3 let's take a look quickly at the Atlantic and Gulf of Mexico The Atlantic wide has some um, storms over Cuba, parts of Alabama and Georgia as well, getting some rain right now, parts of Florida, um, as well as some of the Bahamas getting some rain. There's no real um, storms supposed to be affecting anything. I'm going to take a look at the National Hurricane Center. Uh, the National Hurricane Center has no tropical activity expected during the next 48 hours in the Atlantic, so no real storms coming in yet. That comes later on in the next couple of months. The closer we get to September and October, those are the big months. Uh, the end of August, the beginning of September, and the middle of September and October are the very active months for possible hurricane activity in the Atlantic. The Eastern Pacific, though, has been kicking out storms. Look at this. We have a disturbance 1 with 50% chance of cyclone formation within the next 48 hours. It has a formation chance through 7 days, high at 80%. This disturbance 2 as well, a little bit lower. West Eastern uh, Pacific, 40% chance of cyclone formation uh, through the next 7 days, medium 60% uh, chance of development. Then let's take a look at the Central Pacific. If this computer decides to load. <laughs> Oh, right, the Central Pacific. Loading, loading, loading. Okay, here's Dora. Here is Hawaii. Hawaii has, of course, as you guys know from the news that has been, uh, been blasting everywhere, they had some strong winds as Hurricane Dora passed by. Some fire caught in uh, Maui, and it pretty much devastated um, the, that beachfront uh, area people jumping in the ocean, you know, a whole bunch of disaster happening. People were rumoring that it could have been dew weapons or directed energy weapons from either the military or some kind of craft or something, but we don't know 100% for sure the reason why that fire was happening. It is an intense fire. You could see just from it that nothing was left. It was like a devastation uh, disaster that happened there. I covered it in the community tab. I usually cover news on the community tab before I ever make a video. So if you see me accumulating things in the community tab and then I make a video about it, it's because I've been covering multiple news and then decided to share it on a video. But um, as Dora was passing by, um, they had over 70 mile an hour winds um, in Maui and that wind uh, intensified the fire and it just pretty much destroyed uh, that coastal city. I feel uh, very bad about the situation. Please pray for the people there. There's also a disturbance with 40% chance of cyclone formation heading uh, that direction. So please pray for the people of Hawaii. Hopefully no more fires like that happen. But I do always keep in mind that it could possibly be a do weapon. Don't know if it actually is or not, but um, you never know what the military could do. Alright, let's take a look at near-Earth objects. We have, um, these are asteroids or possible uh, meteors or whatever in the space. 
All right, we have multiple August 14th possible near-Earth objects. We have four, 2023 OE5, 2023 PQ, 2023 PS, and 2023 PC. Um, on August 14th, the lunar distance, some are lesser than one lunar distance, so it's very close. Uh, especially the 2023 OE5, uh, the next up uh, to possibly uh, pass our Earth. Um, these four are very close um, in dis lunar distance to the possible Earth. So just keep an eye on the possible things that could be coming out of the sky the next uh, day and some change uh, next couple of days today's the 11th the next couple of days as you know there's a Perseid meteor shower happening uh, I think tonight and tomorrow is the peak so if you see any news about meteors or comets or anything happening in the sky it could possibly be one of these meteors from the Perseid meteor shower so uh, have a heads up when you come to that information always uh, know your surroundings uh, what's happening on the planet um, so you don't mistake oh it could be a UFO or it could be uh, some missile or something when it, it when in reality it could just be a meteor from the Perseid meteor shower all right guys next Marfugal news shared would a pattern like this be a patrol searching for something so we have uh, Wanda 39, a flight, says crazy amount of military activity as of late. I have been hearing that a lot of uh, planes in Alabama have been military planes uh, skirting about, so I do not doubt that a lot of military action has been happening lately. But take a look at this image that he is showing. The flight came over. North Carolina came down, went into the the Bahamas, came back, went through Miami, went around Cuba, and skirted back and came back up to the Tallahassee um, Panhandle area. So this flight could be searching for submarines, possibly, or it could be searching for information. As we well know from my previous post, if you search my community tab and see my post, that Cuba has been harboring Russian and Chinese submarines and naval ships. So if a, a buildup of military ships has been uh, accumulating in Cuba, uh, pretty much these planes from the United States would, if they're interested enough in the activity that's happening down there, try to check out what's happening and see um, the dangers that are possibly happening off the Cuban uh, area and bases that the Russians and Chinese are building there. Of course, it's very scary, 90 miles from Cuba to, to the tip of the Keys. So please be aware if you live in Florida, if something happens, uh, if Russian ships come from Cuba, uh, Florida would be toast. So let's just uh, keep in mind the information that we gather as, uh, as these things uh, happen. All right, let's take a look now at Space River News, the community tab, as I have been ranting about it for a long time now. I always, always share news on my community tab on YouTube. So if I have any stories, first place I put it is on YouTube, then I put it on my Facebook page, Space River News, and then I share it on Twitter. All right. Quick satellite glance over the southeast tonight as I was talking about some storms over uh, Georgia, Alabama, parts of South Carolina, Florida, as well as Cuba and the Bahamas getting some possible rain here from this uh, storm gathering there. Alright, then uh, the list for near-Earth objects as I have covered it. And then for Saturday, uh, tomorrow, here is the possibility of slight to enhanced and marginal um, rain chances and storm chances for the East Coast. Um, we got some rain for Maine, some for the South, but mostly uh, the, the valley below Michigan and Illinois and this uh, central area, there's possibility of slight to marginal, um, excuse me, it's slight to enhanced um, possible storms developing there. All right, as you guys well know I share people's pages so you guys can check them out. Uh, World News Report today shared a UAP 
meteorite or dew caught on camera August 12th, excuse me, August 11th. So uh, check that out. Uh, his videos were quite interesting. And then today the sky was kind of cloudy for the eastern sky. I kind of cover uh, pictures that I take of the eastern sky because um, we're waiting for Jesus. So I always look for the eastern sky, Jesus uh, possibly coming from the eastern side. So I cover uh, pictures and share that information. But take a look what my husband found today. My husband took this picture today of this beautiful deer. I was so amazed. I was like, wow, it's so amazingly beautiful. Um, he found this deer and he took a picture and he shared it with me. And I'm sharing it with you guys so you guys can see how amazing that is. We usually see a lot of deer, like um, families, just um, gathering. So it's cool to see pictures like that. Reminds you how amazing God is. All right. Also, um, Recon Plane Patrol in Cuba. This is from New York Prepper. Check out his channel, R Great News. He shares a lot of alerts. Um, that happened. Uh, also, from Watchwoman65, U.S. reached deal with Iran to release, release $6 billion. <clears throat> Excuse me. I mean, take a look at that video. Quite interesting. As well as a scorching red sky uh, happening uh, from the real GNS news. Check that out. A lot of weird skies lately. Especially what was happening in... Uh, because of the California, uh, Canada fires, but um, now there's also, an, I think, Morocco having a lot of heat and other uh, weird skies happening as well. All right, this is for Snickers. Snickers is an amazing person. He's, he has a great connection with God, and he had revealed in a previous video that he had a dream where giants glanced at people and their hair turned white and they turned to stone and you know this this weird dream that he had but here is something that I came across from EE e. Arts they said CIA documents reveal 23 Russian soldiers turned to stone by aliens so either giants or aliens or whatever they possibly have that ability to turn people to stone who knows how but it is interesting that somebody had a dream about something similar to that. And then I come across this. So I shared that with Snickers. Um, I tagged him on my community page. It says, didn't you dream of giants turning people into stone? Look what I just came across. And then I shared the image of what I had captured. Alright. As well as a 5.8 earthquake in Japan. That happened four, uh, four hours ago. I covered it. Um, let's see what else. More attacks on Moscow, something else going on from Global Rapture Watchers. They have a great uh, team. They used to have a, a great uh, Facebook page, uh, Global Rapture Watchers, but apparently the Facebook page closed, and they, con they continue to make videos. Um, a pretty great channel. All right, also for Mary Greeley News, check out her channel. She's got great news on earthquakes and any anomalous stuff that happens in the sky. Uh, she, uh, Mary Greeley News. She says 54 reports of a large fireball seen in four states, Alabama, Florida, um, and Mississippi. So, you know, check that out. Uh, as I've been saying uh, a little bit earlier on this video, there is the possibility of a lot of stuff being seen in the sky the next two to three days due to the Perseid meteor shower. So, Keep that in the back of your mind when you see these um, news happening. All right. Also, the Panama Canal has a drought. The Panama Canal shipping piled up due to drought reaches 154 vessels. They have of an average of 21 days of slowing down uh, ships and goods coming down, coming from the um, out and in to our country due to the Panama Canal uh, delay. Since there's a drought, the water goes down and the ships can't pass. Well, um, this drought is slowing the shipments to either no, not being able to pass or delaying it up to 21 days, any shipment coming through the Panama Canal. So heads up for anybody expecting packages or deliveries from the Panama Canal or any ship that goes through the Panama Canal. All right, this is for Friday that happened yesterday. 
uh, as well as I had covered 20 hours ago, no new tropical cyclones in the next seven days. And here we have something interesting. This is a forecast model that is way ahead of the regular forecast. So it's just something to keep an eye out, not something to that's carved in stone. This is just something that could possibly happen, could possibly not, because it, the forecast is so far out that it could totally be a, a mistake. So it says two models showing a possible storm off of Mexico, California on August 20th, keeping an eye out. So I checked out windy.com and on the 20th, this is what was showing possibly off of uh, Mexico and California. And then I had also checked out this Canadian um, called Envi Environment Canada Forecast and they also showed a possible low of 994 below uh, uh, Mexico and parts of California possibly on the 20th. So heads up, I'm not saying that something's going to happen on the 20th, I'm just saying that the models are showing something could. So just keep that in the back of your mind if you live in California or Mexico. Alright, as you see I take pictures of the sky almost every day and I share it, the eastern sky. Alright, also a day ago a 4.3 earthquake in Parksville, California. As well as a day ago 36 people confirmed dead and devastating wildfires in Maui. Letting this load. I'm always sharing news. <laughs> That's why I found it so funny that somebody commented uh, that they didn't see me why I hadn't been making videos. It's, it takes more to make a video than to share it on the community tab because I share constantly, constantly information um, on the community tab, but I can't make a video every single day. So, powerful sunstorm knocks out radio transmissions across North America. That was a day ago. The sun unleashed its second X flare in less than three days, and we should brace for more such activity. All right, so it's going a little bit far. Two days ago, as you see, I had covered Hur Hurricane Dora passing below Hawaii while the fires rage in both Hawaii and Maui. So I had covered that as well. All right, let's take a look at other news. Let's take a look at uh, earthquakes. We have a buzzsaw of earthquakes right here off California coming off from the Mexican uh, Peninsula uh, beginning uh, magnitude 2.7. Uh, uh, BC MX Mexico we also have a 2.5 off of Fontana California a 2.6 off of Parkfield California and a 2.7 earthquake off of Brentwood California instead of buzz so just buzzing up the coast usually we get them off here off of uh, Oregon and up in California there is one rare earthquake up here in Canada, a 2.5. We don't usually get a lot of earthquakes on the upper east coast, uh, but we do get them sometimes. Not always, but sometimes. All right, let's take a look at Alaska. Alaska having a 3.8 in central Alaska, a 2.5 in Nikisi, Alaska, and a 3.3 .3 in Happy Valley, Alaska. All right, let's zoom out a bit. We have a 4.9 in Japan, South America, let's see what you got, a 4.8 in Colombia, a 4.6 in Panama, a 4.8 in Costa Rica, and a 4.4 in Argentina. All right, let's take a look in the middle of Asia. Oh, Tajikistan, we have a 4.0. All right, so that's what we have right now for these earthquakes. Let's take a look at what we have for the sun activity. You see here the solar waves reaching Earth. It is not a severe wave, but it is uh, waves passing by. So that's uh, the Solar Wind Prediction Center for the 12th and 13th so the upcoming days and 14th so the upcoming days are going to be uh, covered in solar wave activity all right guys so that's it for this video um, I covered some let's take a look at Mike's weather page see if 
any other information other than um uh, look how warm the waters off the coast of the Gulf of Mexico and Florida are we always keep an eye, especially during hurricane season, off the waters, off the coast. Uh, because if it gets really warm, that means if any system comes close, it'll just intensify into a possible... Uh, if, For example, if it's a storm, Category 2 storm, and it's getting close to the coast and the water's really warm, it could ramp up to a possible 4 or 5 really quickly just because of the temperatures... Um, off the off the water. Okay, let's take a look at the temperatures. Here we go. We have 89s, 90s, 87s around Cuba, 87 around the Bahamas, 85 around Jamaica, 84 around Dominican Republic, 84 around Puerto Rico and the Lesser Antilles, the um the peninsula here 85 the Gulf of Mexico next to Texas, 86. Louisiana, 88. The middle of the Gulf there, 87 and 89. All right, so it could fuel uh, strong storms, especially off of Florida here, 90 degrees. That's that's intense. Um, that warm water could really fuel hurricanes or storms if any storm decides to wander into that water. So please pray this hurricane season is calmer. Uh, last year it wasn't that bad. The year before it was really intense. Um, so let's pray that we don't have a huge uh, long hurricane season list of named storms uh, coming this upcoming year. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Just wanted to cover uh, a video the best I could uh, with the latest information that I came across. The latest news. Uh, see you guys next time. Stay prayed up. Stay reading your Bible. God bless you guys.